three-year-old twins, Bella and Lily, are caught in the line of fire. A dog's fight. It's good to have the dog to actually neutralize the attacker. Can Victoria open James and Jenny's eyes to the danger they are facing? They are going to have a huge shock on their hands. Or have they already passed the point of no return? Bringing a Presa Canario into your home is sheer madness. And if it grabs them, it kills them. Come on, let them see down. Get down. Get down. I'm James Odom. Um, I live here with my wife, Jenny, and our twin daughters, Lily and Bella, and our four dogs. This is oh, Rufus. Hello. This is Shelly. Hi. And this is Wolfgang. Wolfgang, oh. Wolfgang is a Presa Canario, which is a very, very powerful dog. At the moment, he seems to be a fun, lovable puppy, but he's going to go through many different behavior changes, and I hope they can handle him when he's older. Tell Victoria what happened with Wolfgang when he bit your finger. I hurt with my finger with Wolfgang. Oh, OK. And she started yelling that and crying that the dog was eating her slowly. OK. The Presa Canario, because of what it was bred to do, has a high chase instinct, has quite a high prey drive, and certainly could be stimulated by small things running around, including children. And that scares me. So what kind of training have you done with Wolfgang? We have had no training with Wolfgang at the moment. Wolfgang's supposed to start training next week, and he's going to do canine training. I got Wolfgang the Presa Canario for protection. I'm going to send him to canine training, and I think that would be the answer for me, feeling uh, more self-assured when I'm out with my daughters. What do you mean when you say canine training? You know, it's good to be able to have the dog for protection, to actually be able to, if she is physically attacked, uh, neutralize the attacker. I think Jenny and James don't really understand the breed that they've taken on in the Presa Canario. And I think they are going to have a huge shock on their hands when they see how big Wolfgang is going to get and how powerful he will be. I have a responsibility to keep my family safe and protected. The prey has a high prey drive. It's taught to chase other dogs off its property. And if it grabs them, it kills them. And the high prey drive means that the prey can be extremely impulsive, and prey drive can take over. I don't want to be putting my family in danger. I don't want to be stressing my wife out. I love my wife. I love my family. I'm here, yeah, to lay it out of the line and say, this is, this is the deal, this is reality, but I want to be ultimately here to help you. I want to take Jenny and James on a field trip where they will see what it means to own a protection dog. So Jenny and James, I want to, you to meet some amazing people. This is James, Robert, how are you? Chris, what was your name again? And, Hi, and Mike. Hi. 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 And the reason why I wanted to bring you to meet these people is because they have some amazing dogs. And they're also um, some of the best trainers in the world. The idea is, Anytime that we have a dog that does any form of bite work, it's extremely important that we socialize so that the dog doesn't see everything as, I have to go and bite this, or I have to go and bite this. We're going to go ahead and get the Pressa out now. Let me get suited up, and uh, we'll go ahead and work it for you. Is this a full-grown Pressa? This is a full-grown Pressa. Yeah. Oh, as soon as the Pressa Canario came out and saw Robert with the bite sleeve on, he wanted to get him. <laughs> so basically, as you can tell, she can't hold him back now that he's committed. Look at that. Imagine me with kids trying to hold that dog <laughs> yeah. back. That would have been a mistake. Don't worry, we're going to teach him to heal. This is an extremely hard bite. Yeah, yeah, this oh is a bit. Oh, See, like it's a game. It's a toy to yeah. him. <laughs> but that's somebody's arm in real life. Now, had this been a real situation, and he had bitten for real. Devastating. Want a breath in your arm, or? At worst. What? I think Jenny and James were really taken aback by the power of this dog. How big the Prace's bite was, 
and how it had crushed the sleeve. I'm glad now that we have decided not to attack train Wolfgang. I definitely saw how having it around other people, if something went wrong, how terribly disastrous it could be. With attack dog plans ruled out, Victoria wants to kickstart a much safer training regime for Wolfgang. The prey scenario can be a handful, and if it's not trained properly, can be a real danger. So it's vital that training starts right now. Wolfgang's first lesson in obedience is the sit command. Okay, so what I'm doing, just getting the dog to figure out, how am I gonna get this treat out of her hand? I think that Wolfgang might have a little bit of a difficult time because of his youth and because of his lack of training. Good. What he's doing is following a hand signal. And I train the dogs to follow hand signals as well as um, vocal signals. So now he's already learned that that means sit. I'm gonna put the word to it. Wolfgang did surprisingly well learning the sit command. He took to it pretty quickly. I was pleasantly surprised by that. Nice, nice. Now, Jenny takes over. Sit. Good boy. Beautiful, beautiful. I love the fact he's following you, his tail's wagging, he's having good a good boy. time. Okay, now let's go from there and let's teach him to lie down. Before she adds a command, Victoria waits to catch the behavior she's looking for. Down, good boy. Up, good, nice. Down, good. Wolfgang, as I thought, highly intelligent dog, very focused, down, loves working, and got the sit and the down so fast. But just because Wolfgang is smart doesn't mean he'll always listen. When it came to my turn to get Wolfgang to lay down, it was definitely a bit of a struggle. See? That's it, put it down. That's there it. you go. Almost, 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 buddy. Come on, you know what's there. Come on. Come down. Good, Good boy. Very nice. It took some time before he finally got it, but he did get it and that felt good. With Wolfgang responding nicely to obedience, Victoria wants to add another valuable command to his vocabulary. The most important thing you can teach your puppy is the recall. So that when you ask your dog to come to you, they come. If you build up a recall when the dog is young and inclined to follow you, it's gonna be solid when the dog gets older and wants to go away from you. And I'm just gonna walk around. Good boy. And each time I walk away from him and he follows me, I tell him good boy. If you're just stagnant with your dog, your dog gets bored, especially a puppy like that. But when you're moving around, you're always changing the picture, you're always making it different, the dog responds. Now that Wolfgang is invested in the training, Victoria turns it into a game. Now, James, I want you to kind of put your hands on the ground and call his name and then call him to come to you. Wolfgang, Wolfgang, Wolfgang. Say the word. Come. And release. Good boy, good Beautiful. boy. Beautiful, Good boy. Lots of love. And then when you say come, release him. Wolfgang. Wolfgang! Good yeah. job! Good Beautiful. job! Each time Wolfgang came to a person, lots of love and petting and praise. Good job, honey! Good job! When he gets bigger, he is going to become naturally more territorial. If he's had any kind of traumatic experience with anybody, it just takes one. That could set him up for failure. Uh-oh. So why, by doing socialization, we're setting him up for, ex for success. So I have four people outside. Um, I'd like to do this off-leash, because I also want the dog to make his own opinions and to think for himself, OK? People coming onto his property are good. Oh, there's someone. Come on, let's go. It's really important for Jenny to make it a great experience. Oh, somebody's coming to the house. That's really good. I accept that person into my house. I'm hey. Jenny. Come in. Come in. Hi. Hi. <laughs> nice to see you. This is Wolfgang. When Jenny accepts somebody into the home, I want Wolfgang to permit that. Good boy, meeting our guests. Good boy. Lovely. Come okay. on. So 
Come on in. You in. With the first greeting a success, Victoria brings in several more guests. And, he, and I love the way that he's investigating. That should be encouraged. Good. Good, Good boy. boy. This is going to be the difference between your dog being a danger to people when they come in and your dog greeting people when they come in. If a suspicious person comes by who's not invited to your home, then the dog is going to react. That's where the protection comes in. Now I feel more secure with Wolfgang, and I feel like we're a team now. He's going to tell me, you know, something's wrong. Good boy. I would like you to continue on with the training with Wolfgang. I would like it if you could get some people that Wolfgang is unfamiliar with and get them out on walks to come and say hello to him, as well as having people coming in and out of here, all positive, so that he really gets a pleasurable association. I want Wolfgang to be very sociable with people. Whoever comes into his house, if they're welcomed, he is very friendly with, because this is going to ultimately keep people who come into the house safe and keep the twins safe. Wolfgang needs it so much. He is the most amazing little puppy. Just don't let me down. Good luck, and I will see you soon. Thanks. OK, bye-bye. See you. Victoria Stillwell has left Jenny and James with their dogs Rufus, Wolfgang, and Shelley. No. Jenny wastes no. no time in getting on with Wolfgang's training, both inside the house and out. Wolfgang, sit. Good. As Victoria requested, Jenny has invited some friends over to give Wolfgang positive experiences with new people. Hey, friendly. Ooh, no, hey, totally buddy. No. Down. <laughs> Good. And it's not just Wolfgang getting positive experiences. Even the twins seem to be happier around the dogs. Tell him. Good boy. Good boy. When Victoria arrived to my home, it was mayhem, chaos. My stress was through the roof. Everybody down, Wolfgang, down. Down. Good, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.